What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Michelle Renee from IamMichelleRenee.com. And today I have an extremely special guest, my sister. <laughs> hey, sissy, how are you? I am great. I'm great. It's so good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, what's funny, guys, even though we have the exact same face, She's actually my sister-in-law. She's married to my big brother. Crazy, crazy, so, right? We literally have the same face, but this is my, I've, we've evolved into looking more like each other as the years have gone on, right? It is so <laughs> hilarious because I look it at you and I see myself. It is so weird. That's funny you pointed out. I was going to wait till after this to mention it because I'm like, it's a little weird looking at the screen. Like I'm used to taking pictures and seeing it. But talking and seeing you beside me is really throwing me off. Yes. Yeah. yes. But let's take a moment. So um, introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are. <clears throat> Wonderful. Well, again, thank you so much uh, for inviting us and myself to be a part. But I am Brandy Turner. I am the co-founder and program manager with the Mississippi Center for Cultural Production, better known as SIP Culture here in Utica, Mississippi. Yes, representing home state, hometown, and family with silk culture. Um, That's I right, the, real I, life. I love it. I actually had the opportunity of visiting the grounds of silk culture this summer and spending some time there, and it's such a beautiful space. Um, as an artist, you feel embodied with just artistry. It makes you want to create. It makes you want to write. But we're not here to talk about silk culture today. We're actually talking about something else. So share with the people what it is that SIP culture has going on right now. Absolutely. Um, well, SIP culture is really excited. Uh, we just launched our SIP culture artist relief fund on September 9th. And we're really honored to be able to be a part of this funding process. We are giving um, artists an opportunity to apply for funds to help during this time. You know, we've all been, 2020 has been some kind of year for everyone. Yes. And with this, yes, <laughs> with this pandemic, it just seems like it, it, it just won't let up. And so we have gotten a chance to be able to put some money in folks' hands, particularly artists and people of color. So we're really excited to announce that. Wonderful. So you highlighted that it's specifically geared toward um, artists and people of color. Can you be a little more specific as far as um, what does an artist constitute? Like, what does that mean or who qualifies? And is it for specific groups as far as I know it has some location restrictions. So share with us yes, a little bit about absolutely. it. No, I'm glad that you, um, that you brought that up because people so often um, think really small in terms of what an artist actually is. And, you know, SIP culture and many artists really believe that um, there is an artist in everyone. Uh, but, you know, it really is just as, as creative people. And so, you know, if you are using your art as a practice, we really encourage you to take advantage of this, of this opportunity to get some funds. So just to give an idea of what, um, what would maybe constitute, as an artist or what we look at is some of the things, and I would actually say not limited to, so please don't exclude yourself if I don't list these. Um, but if you're in arts education, if you're in culinary arts, if you're a cultural bearer, uh, dance, of course, but design, um, digital media, multi multimedia, okay. film, video, healing arts, literary arts, in multidisciplinary arts, um, performance art, of course, visual arts, puppetry. I mean, it's just kind of, I'm just sharing some of it, storytelling, um, or just things to think about um, as an artist that you would actually be qualified for. Uh, you also asked some of the restrictions. I don't want to jump ahead, but it is important to know. So through SIP Culture, we um, have a service area region, and it covers five states. Five states, which would be Arkansas, Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, and of course, Mississippi. So, but the, what I'm going to tell you at the end of our conversation, when I share some of um, our social media and other uh, sources, we have partnered with other organizations as well that are covering some other areas that if you're not in residing or working in one of the states that I listed, that you can go to these other organizations that will work outside of our area and they may qualify in those areas. 
Okay. Okay. That's perfect, actually, because that kind of covers some of those questions that um, I was going to ask of like, how, what is an artist, right? And when you mm -hmm. went down to even culinary arts and um, yeah. puppetry, like it literally covers everybody yeah. as far yeah. as being a creative and being an artist. And I think that's yeah. what most people miss sometimes is that they feel like in order to be an artist, you have to um, be established or be well known. And that's not true at all. Thank you right. for saying that. And so that's the other thing. It's not about, you know, how long you've been practicing uh, your art, but um, I will say some things that might really help to like improve uh, your chances with the application. Like if it's been, you know, a major source of your income and due to the pandemic, you found that, you know, that was like, say for example, one of your main, main jobs, and now you don't have that income flow coming in. That would be one of the things that would actually really help so if it was just like, you know, something maybe that you were doing as a side game, it's not that you're not eligible, but people that maybe do rely on that right. would probably have maybe a little bit better chances. That makes perfect sense. Um, it absolutely does. What is the deadline for getting um, the information in for this grant? Yes. So it is coming up on us quickly, but there is also a good thing about that. So the deadline for the grant is October 1st okay. of 2020. Okay, so which is just short of a couple of weeks, but here's the thing, please, by no means, do not be discouraged by that date because sometimes we can be intimidated like, oh, I don't have time to fill out this application or, you know, what information I need to pull together for the grant. This application process is incredibly simple and it's intentionally designed that way so it's not adding an extra layer of stress to try to receive funds, it makes it really simple for you to apply. So it's really asking, you know, a lot about you and your background and what your, your circumstances and conditions that really warrant why you need this funding. Wonderful. So one, I'm excited. Kind of wish I lived in one of those states, but I'm going to be okay with right. <laughs> um, Thank you still for having me. Absolutely. I am Michelle <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but I think it's important to make sure that we're sharing with artists um, or with creatives that there is an opportunity like that because a lot of a lot of times they get downtrodden and they feel like they're having to do work that they're not attached to or tied to because they don't have the funding to support the work yeah. that they desire to do. And so I'm really excited about this. Is there anything else that you want us to share um, yes. about this amazing opportunity? Yes. You, um, just hearing you talk reminded me of one other thing. The great thing about also this, this funding is it's unrestricted. So this is not something that like these funds will be managed on how you utilize them. It really is to provide some relief um, to, to artists during this time. So that is also the beauty of this, uh, of this opportunity. Um, so that also- makes it more amazing. It is, it really is incredible. So we just encourage everybody to not procrastinate, don't put off. Go ahead and um, you know complete the application. You will go to sipculture.com, and that is sip as in like Mississippi. So s i p p culture.com, and you can click on the artist relief fund um, page that you'll just see the slider up there on the screen, and click on that, and it'll have a link to the application. And it's an application that you can download, so you can go back and and make adjustments until you complete it. So like I said, please do not hesitate to, uh, to go ahead and apply. Just learn more information about it by going to our site. That is so exciting. I can't wait um, to just see what comes of this Artist Relief Fund with people being able to be supported. But I'm so excited for the work that you all are doing at SIP Culture. Uh, guys, make sure you stay tuned because we are going to be featuring um, Brandy and the work that she does as one half of the duo that created Sip Culture. And I'm really excited about that. Thank you so much for taking out time in your busy, busy schedule. Tell people how they can follow you on social media. Absolutely. So um, you can follow us, hashtag Sip Culture, um, and Facebook, Sip Culture, um, also known as the Mississippi Center for Cultural Production. So when you look it up in the search engine, you'll be able to find us there. Um, also, I encourage you, if you do not live in one of the five states, and I'll list them again, which is Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Mississippi, you should also check out hashtag we are Ely, and Ely is I-L-I, okay? So hashtag we are Ely, and you'll see the other organizations that are running their artist relief fund support as well. And you can apply there. And please, you know, share this with other folks. If you don't live in, you know, in those communities, you might know someone else that does, you know, that's an so, artist. So 
Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is wonderful. I'm so proud of you guys and the work that you're doing. So grateful for this yeah. opportunity to speak with you. Everybody go check out Sip Culture. They give some amazing um, Black history tips every single day. Um, yeah. 337, right? Uh, black 337. Black 337. You got it. I Absolutely. love it because I get enlightened on people that I didn't even um, recognize. And I'm like, okay, I love to be shocked by the um, person of the day. That's like my favorite yeah. thing because I'm looking for I'm like, oh, Absolutely. okay. I love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you so much, awesome. sis, for this time. I love you. And guys, make sure you love check you it out too. and apply for those funds. All right. Hope to hear from you all. Thank you for having us. Hashtag sip culture.